So that's another thing. Once you start posting videos and you just start, don't get discouraged on the views because if they don't watch it now, they're gonna watch it later. Cause I'm getting views from videos I made years back. Like when I first started with the bad quality, getting comments from old videos. And it's crazy because I forget about some of these videos. Majority of these videos I forget about because I'm always moving on to the next video. And once you start posting videos and you get into that rhythm of posting videos, you just start moving forward, forward, forward. This is exciting, yo. YouTube really is a great platform to be on. It really is. I like it. I go off, go in, go up, but never go back. YouTube, what's up? As you can see from the top down below, we're going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel. Now, this is a question I've been getting asked since I started my channel. So that's been for however long that's been. And I've been getting asked recently, as of recently, my grammar's trash. I don't really care though. As of recently, I've been getting asked as well how to start a channel, um, what camera, what computer, what lights, mic, stuff of that nature should I get, you know? And who am I to say, who am I really to say what equipment to have, you feel me? Because I don't even have the equipment that I would like to have, even though my equipment's okay, it gets the job done. I got a ring light, I got an M50 Canon, um, some other light that's chilling over there, a tripod, and I'm at computer. So for some people, I got good equipment. You feel me? I understand that. When I first started, I didn't have no good equipment. I had a MacBook Pro that was old. I had a Cybershot Sony camera, I believe it was. And I had no light. I had no, I had a little, little light. I don't even know what it's called. I think I still have it though. But mainly I was using the window light. And my first video that I ever did was off of my cell phone with trash light and trash audio. Feel me? So when I first started, I was going through it. You feel me? I was really going through it compared to what I'm doing now. But my point is, if you want my advice on how to start a channel, you have to start it, set things in motion, make the channel, record a video, post it. That's pretty much what it is. Um, there's been plenty of people that came to me and was like, yeah, how do I start a channel? Blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. What equipment do I need? And then I'm still, I'm still waiting for the videos to drop. You ain't even make the channel. You ain't make no videos. What's up? I know somebody from back home. <laughs> That's crazy. Cause they hit me up recently too, from back home and was like, yeah, I'm still trying to make this channel, this, that, and the third. That was years ago, bro. What's good? I need you to make this channel and drop these videos if you really want to do it. So if you're serious, like if you're legit serious about making a channel and you want to make a channel, post a video. That That is what it is. If you want to be a YouTuber, post a video, record it. You're wasting time by not doing it, overthinking things. Cause a lot of people overthink and they think they need fancy equipment when you really don't. As long as you got decent lighting, something to record on, your video is gonna be okay. It's gonna do all right. People are gonna watch it. It is what it is. Like I, like I said, I didn't have this. My first video I ever recorded was on my phone. The horrible lighting. The picture was all grainy. The audio was trash, but I knew YouTube was something that I wanted to try out. I didn't know that I would enjoy it as much as I actually do now, but it was something I actually wanted to give a shot. So I was like, this is what I got. This is what I'm gonna do. So I did it. And I'm happy I made that step. I'm happy I didn't overthink and be like, all right, I can't do it because I don't have this camera. I don't have the lights, um, like the ring light, like all the, the fancy YouTubers have. I was like, I want to try something different. This is what I have. What can I make into it? And I'm happy to see where my channel came from. It came from there and it's here. And it's only gonna progress. It's only gonna get better. I know that for sure. But I took that first step, using what I had to make content. And I enjoyed every video that I ever made. Nah, I lied. I lied. I just lied to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't enjoy every video I ever made. I made some trash videos. I know that for sure. But people watched them. And what I thought was trash, other people enjoyed. That's the crazy part about YouTube. That's the crazy part about life. Just cause you might not enjoy the product that you put out, somebody else will. They were still my content. Like I believed in my content. That's why I posted it. Even though I didn't like it for some reasons, I'm a perfectionist. So if I said something incorrectly or the audio wasn't good, then I automatically don't like the video. It just is what it is. Other people don't care about certain stuff like that. So if you're thinking like, I can't make videos with my phone, why can't you? There's a lot of YouTubers that do it now and I did it. Why can't you do it? You'll get the equipment later, but post the content that you're thinking about doing now. 
or you can save that content and make other content, simple content, get that out the way, but just get the feel for making videos. Start now, start your channel, start posting videos now because you never know. Just cause you think that the quality is not good and the video is not gonna get views, you never know until you actually make it and post it. As long as you got decent lighting, you can make videos off your phone. Stand by a window. I used to do it. I had plenty of videos that were me standing by a light. That's when I figured out lighting was key. Standing by a light and it lit me perfectly and my quality was way better. All you need is good light and something to record on and decent audio. And you can be a YouTuber. Testimony, I did it. A lot of people are doing it now. Why can't you? Now, I got that out the way. My channel originally wasn't even, when I first made this channel, it wasn't even gonna be me. Like Aaron Sterling wasn't even gonna be the name of the channel, even though that's my name. And I, I had the idea to make the channel. It was gonna be me and my cousins because I was too nervous to do it myself. And listen to me, that's what I'm getting to. People are too nervous, people are too scared to start a channel. Like you wanna do it, deep down inside you wanna do it, but you don't know what people are gonna think if you start it. It's not traditional, I mean, you're not gonna get views, you can't make this full time, this, that, and the third. Do it, do it anyway. I was nervous. I tried to make a video with my cousins, things wasn't really working out how we wanted to, um, but I still had the desire to make videos, so I just made a video. I had no prior experience making videos, no editing, no recording, no nothing. I was terrified of being in front of a camera and talking on camera like this. One of the reasons why I started doing YouTube is because I wanted to practice on my public speaking. And I thought if I did it in front of camera, it would be a lot easier than talking in front of a whole bunch of people. Like it'll make it easier because I get used to talking. And I guess in some form or fashion, I'm talking to way more people. Like I used to have to talk to in front of people of 30. That's frightening to me. Now I'm posting videos online, talking to people all around the world, thousands of people daily. If I look at my analytics, I'm reaching thousands of people daily, which is crazy to me. And I'm talking to them from videos from way back. So that's another thing. Once you start posting videos and you just start, don't get discouraged on the views because if they don't watch it now, they're gonna watch it later. Cause I'm getting views from videos I made years back. Like when I first started with the bad quality, getting comments from old videos. And it's crazy because I forget about some of these videos. Majority of these videos I forget about because I'm always moving on to the next video. And once you start posting videos and you get into that rhythm of posting videos, you just start moving forward, forward, forward. This is exciting, yo. YouTube really is a great platform to be on. It really is. I like it. I don't want to make this video long. It's already eight minutes in and I'm talking about a bunch of nothing. I don't even know how long it's going to be after I edit it. Probably still going to be this long. But if I don't edit it, I'll do it all. Just pick it up to just like this. All right, but anyway, let me chop this video up. I know I'm talking about a bunch of nothing at this point, but if you want to start a channel, just start the channel. If you don't have all the equipment that you would like to have, use what you got. Trust me, use what you got. Start the channel, get into the rhythm of making videos. You're going to love it if, if this is something for you. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I've seen other YouTubers make their videos. I was like, that's a cool thing. I, I want to try it out too. I didn't know that I was going to enjoy it as much as I actually do. And the opportunities that come from being a YouTuber are great, they're fantastic. Watch, once you start your channel and you really start doing it and diving into it, you're gonna do great. There's a time where I used to look at 500 subscribers on other people's channels, I'm like, wow, 500, that's a lot. I wish I can get there, like, that's crazy. Got 500, 1,000, wow. I don't know, whenever I'm gonna get to 1,000, got 1,000. And the numbers just started growing from there. And it can happen to you too. And then you'll be sitting here on this side of the camera telling other people, if you want to start a channel, just start the channel. And the possibilities are endless. YouTube is becoming mainstream now. YouTube is literally becoming mainstream now. And it's crazy. I don't even know what to talk about no more. I don't want to drag this video out. If you like this video, please, by all means, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Feel free to turn on that post notifications. You might as well. You feel me? You might as well. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time in another place, another space. Always remember, be cocky and be humble all at the same damn time. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. I felt, it felt good to be back on it. I'm thirsty.
think that 